Welcome back to another episode of the Extremely Daily Beard, which clearly happens every day. Um, one thing I want to comment on, because we just did a short-sighted podcast episode where Dan improved his eyesight inside 18 months from a 5.25 to a minus 1.5 diopters. And already, already as expected, the comments are rolling in. Um, peripheral vision must be the key because he mentioned peripheral vision and he attributed some of his fast improvements to being aware of his peripheral vision, which is a Bates method thing. And some internet clowns try to sell you $300 courses, which you really honestly don't need to buy based on this idea or premise that some magical ingredient I'm withholding from you and, and myopia because that's my style, but I'm actually not. And what people are ignoring very common. This is super freaking common. The dude plays soccer regularly, right? Like he, he uses his reduction. He meets up with his friends in the evening after work. He plays soccer, right? As often as several times a week, doesn't use phones, the phone screen distance that check out how many hours a day you spend on your phone. He said three, but I believe him when he says a lot of it is the autoplay YouTube stuff where you're not actually observing. I bet a lot of people here who are going, oh, peripheral vision, that's the secret, somehow think that ignoring all the other bits that make improvement happen will somehow do the trick for them, right? Like the dude basically doesn't use his phone for the most part, right? Like very limited phone use. The difference between you going out and playing soccer after work several days a week, potentially, and not doing that and instead playing on your phone is massive, right? Like much more than the impact or non-impact of observing your peripheral vision. You should absolutely observe your peripheral vision, but I would talk about it more if it was more important. And we can talk about it more, but again, the thing happens that I observed here where people go, try to jump for the magic one weird trick thing. The other thing, he has reduced from what was probably an overcorrection to what is absolutely an undercorrection. And he has not resolved the, the uh, resulting double vision astigmatism-like symptoms that people encounter when they have reduced adventurously, right? So realistically, I would say it's not a minus 1.5 if we're not having a clickbait title, right? Like it would be, I don't know, at least a half to opt or higher, maybe three quarters. Nothing wrong with where he's at. And it's an absolutely positive thing. Important thing when you watch these things or listen to these things is don't try to take away a piece of the puzzle, right? Like you're trying to bake a cake and you're like, aha, sugar. It is all about sugar and chocolate. And then ignore the rest of the pieces or underestimate the importance. There's no one weird trick. It's all this stuff put together. And if you want, we can talk more about the some interesting peripheral <laughs> Bates method ideas. If you like, sure. We absolutely can. Suggestions are welcome. Don't ask me to translate this into Hindi because I'm not going to. Don't ask me for the steps because the steps exist. Don't tell me that I never explain how to improve eyesight because it's free. I don't care what you think. Oh, that's mean. I love you guys. Just, you know, put in some work. Prove your eyesight. You can definitely get back to 2020. More on all this stuff coming soon. Subscribe. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.